just finished my seventh book uh, this past week, and it's called What Lies Between. It's a collaboration between myself and an amazing writer, uh, Dr. Brent Downs. He lives in Australia. He's an author, storyteller, just a brilliant, brilliant talent. And um, we've been trying to get this book out for just shy of a decade. So <laughs> we finally did it. And um, I tried to think of a piece that I could read that kind of really gave an idea of what the entire book was about, what I wanted it to be about. <clears throat> and ironically enough, it's the title poem. So um, I really encourage you to read the book, get it. Um, not because my writing is so mm, amazing, although it is, um, but it's mainly because um, my style and uh, Brent's style um, complement each other so well. So, and if you do get it, please let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your feedback. All right, here we go. What lies between? What lies we tell ourselves and each other? Hidden little promises and blatant black mold lies. What lies behind strained smiles and clenched teeth? Is that strength we see? Or despair quietly bleeding? What lies under skin and bones cloaked with happiness and laughter? A touch of desolation? A hint of agony and resignation? What lies within that chest full of cement, hardening, heavy, heavier every year? Does the heart exist, or is it too frail? Is it capable of love after betrayal? What lies between what is and what is left? The broken and the salvageable? Is that what we are? All we are? A search for perfection gone too far? We lie facing both right and wrong, realizing from a young age that there is but one step between here and gone. I tried to get this book. The subtitle to What Lies Between is Life, Death, Love, and Loss. I wanted to write a book that approached all of those major, like, massive things that happen in life that we deal with. I wanted to take a look at every angle of approaching those things, only how we really deal with them. Not how we deal with them in public, because everyone sees how you deal with it in public, but no one sees how you truly deal with it. Because everyone wears a mask out in public. No one really sees how you deal with it when you're alone. Because no one really truly knows you unless you step back in your house. Those people truly know you. And really the only person that truly, truly knows you is you. So that's why I wanted to write this. I was kind of taking a look between the cracks of a person. And getting down into the marrow of every emotion. So, I hope you like it. Let me know. Bye.